Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. And as you can see, today we're doing another Moomin review and another Martinex review. In my last video, I did the Bathing House by Martinex, which was kind of a bigger play set. Um, this is a smaller one. You can see four pieces. Um, and this is one of the small houses that they do. There are different ones you can get. I'll show you the front first of all. So Moomin by Martinex. Uh, mini Moomin House, so this is small, like I said. Designed in Finland. And here's a little illustration on the front. I like the packaging on this, I will say. And there's a little window, no plastic on this, but there is plastic on the actual inside, you can see. You can put your hand right in. Uh, ages 3 plus. And as always, you have a little, little biographic information there on Kubi Janssen. Um, they, they seem to always include this on all of their products, which is, it's it's nice. Um, and then on this side, these are the other ones you can get. So obviously this is Moomin Troll's house, but you can get other designs. Um, Snoke Maiden, you can see this one has a little take from Moomin Troll. Uh, Moomin Mama, Moomin Papa, Little Mai, and of course Snufkin. And then on the back, you get another little window. Um, again, no plastic cover in this. And another little illustration. And then on the bottom, you just get your small print, basically. And these are available. These aren't, you know, rare or anything. You can get these from the Moomin shop. And I don't know if this is sealed. I haven't opened this, obviously. Ah, there's seals on the side. They're a little piece of tape. So let me get my little knife out. Try and cut this across. There go on this side. Try and get this without damaging the packaging. I think that should be good to go now. Yeah, there's none on the top. So I should be able to do this. Actually, is there tape? No, there's not. I should be able to just pry this open. There's no tape on the bottom. Yes, there is actually. I think this whole box actually comes apart looking at it. Um, I'm going to open it from the bottom, seems the easiest way. Okay, so a little tray comes out. Ah, well that was easy enough, and I think there is something in here. Yes, there is. Looks like a little chair and bed, I think. Let's slide this back up there so I don't lose it. Okay, so I guess this just pops off. Yeah, looks like it just slides off. Does it? No, it's taped on. Okay, Let's see if I can get this off. Obviously, I probably should have unboxed this beforehand, but I wanted to kind of get a first look. If that makes sense. There we go. There is tape on this side as well. I'll just try and pull it. Just get that off. There we go. Okay, so here is the house. I guess we'll look at the figure first of all. So, oh, again, this is sealed as well. Ah, no, it's not actually. I lied. Okay, so here, ah, this is actually one of the same, same size, same style of Martinex figures that you would get in the advent calendars if anyone's got the martinex advent calendars um, i'm pretty sure it's the exact same figure you would get in those yeah just a little rubber one piece no articulation which for a little mini play set like this can't really go wrong um, and obviously this thing closes up i don't know if it clicks in place yes it does so here's the outside Obviously, it's supposed to be the Moomin House, in miniature form anyway, and then click it back open. So there's obviously two sections to this, or three if you count this on top. So up here we have a little scene, we have two pictures on the wall, and a little cabinet, or bedside table almost. And then on this side we have a window and another little table, chest of drawers, 
has what looks like Moomy Mama's... No, actually it's binoculars. I was going to say a handbag, but yeah, binoculars. Um, little cup of pens and a globe. Hopefully you can kind of see it over there. There you go. And then upstairs we have like a little bedroom scene. So let's open up this little package. See what I've got in here. It looks like a little piece of furniture that you can kind of put in the house. There's a chair. Yeah, just two things. So we got a little... Guess this is a bed? Yep, definitely a bed. And there's this kind of... It's very big, we'll say. It's very big. I'm trying to get this tape out of here as well. I'll, I'll deal with that after the video. Um, but you also get a little tape. Oh, a little. I don't see. I thought this was a table at first. But, I mean, just based on the way it looks at the end there. I mean, I guess if you want to use it as a table, maybe they're giving you the option there. You could flip it that way. Um, but then you have this little chair. Just kind of put it up there. And of course, Moomin can, can stand in here. It's very kind of basic, I will say. Um, there's not too much playability with it, especially compared to some of the other Martinex sets. I mean, especially the figure. I mean, like I said, it's just one solid piece of rubber. And then you just get these two little accessories. Um, again, I, I see this being more of like a display thing. Maybe it'll look good on a shelf, um, which is obviously what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't know, I mean, I'd probably have it open with, with the stuff just laid out like this. Um, I mean, it's, it does look fine like this. I mean, it, it takes up less space, obviously. But it's just like a fun little compact little place that, I mean, nothing too bad I can say about it. Uh, I, this is very cheap as well, I will say. Um, and for just a little... A little miniature place there. I mean, if you didn't want to spend all the money on the big house, I mean, that's, I think, $100 right now. Um, if you didn't want to spend all that money on the big place set, this is a good little alternative. I just wish there was more going on with it, more features, maybe if the door opened, um, some of these windows, because, yeah, yeah, these definitely don't open. It's just a solid piece. But I do like how everything kind of closes together like that. And there is obviously a window on the back. But yeah, overall, can't really say anything bad about it. Hope you enjoyed this. Kind of, I guess it was like an unboxing and a review in one, because obviously we did take everything out. And yeah, like I said, I do like the packaging. Obviously this looks, this this illustration on the front is more detailed than the actual item, but yeah. It, it is what it is. Can't can't really fault it. For, for a little kid's playset, uh, it's pretty decent. But that's it for this video, guys. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see ya.